Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Faster Than Light. Yes, we're going to do another run today. Now I have seen some requests for the Captain's Edition of the game, which is a modded version of FTL that adds in some extra complexity and is even less forgiving than the base game, if you can believe it. I'm interested in doing that and if people want to see it, they can let me know in the comments section down below. But today I would like to play with a new ship that I've never played with before. We unlocked it at the end of our last run on the Bulwark. It is the Nasasio, the Stealth Cruiser. This is a very interesting and very difficult ship for reasons that are completely different from all the previous runs. It is a stealth cruiser, which means we start with cloaking, and we also have two really good weapons to begin with. The dual lasers, which fires off two shots every 10 seconds, not too shabby, and the mini beam, which I believe is the fastest charging beam weapon in the game. Not going to do an absolute ton of damage, but not too bad for damaging a lot of subsystems at once. You look at this and you say, okay, cloaking, good weapons, what's the catch? The catch is you have no shields, none, nothing at all. So anytime that your enemy shoots at you, you're likely going to be taking hull damage unless you can rely on your cloak or your high evasion chance to dodge, which is always a bit of a crapshoot. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, survivability with this ship is a little bit difficult. We're going to be trying to dodge their first volley and then shred them to pieces before they have a chance to get off a second volley. At least in the first couple of sectors, that is our only means of survival. Now, we do also start off with the long-range scanners, which gives a little bit of intelligence as to what we can expect in the next jump. Might help me find a better route, a slightly safer route, avoid those asteroid fields, which you can imagine do a lot of damage if you have no shields. We also have the titanium system casing. This is just sort of okay. It gives you a 15% chance to negate damage to the subsystem, but you still take damage to the hull. Not great for survivability, okay to try and keep yourself up at full fighting strength for a little bit longer, but 15% chance, eh. I see this as just kind of free scrap that we can use for later. So this is going to be a fun run. Uh, I think our goal has to be to get shields as early as we can from the shop within the first couple of sectors. If we can't get that, then we need to get the best possible weapons and then divert all of my scrap to upgrading my engines and my cloak so I can survive as long as possible. That is our only hope. Hey, look, we have a distress beacon right off the bat. Okay, let's go and find out who is distressed. We also start with better scanners, I just realized. That's kind of fun. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread. <sighs> you know what? Since it is literally the first jump, I'm going to take the risk, though I think this usually gets somebody killed. And we did lose somebody. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and restart that run. Don't mind me. It's a little bit cheaty, but it has to happen because, sorry, I'm not going to lose somebody on the very first freaking jump. Let's see. What's this? There's Nebula, Ion Storm. Eh, we don't have a lot of power. We might be able to make this work, but we also might not. Let's give it a shot. Um, our enemies are going to have low power as well. Let's see. We have a Rebel Scout. Uh, it was waiting for me. It does still have shields. And it has an offensive drone. Oh, that is not what you want to see. Offensive drones, um, because we have no shields, have the potential of doing a lot of extra damage. So we're going to want to cloak like right off the bat and not get shot while we charge up our weapons and try to get that initial firing off. He's also got a mini beam. Oh, lovely, which means we might take a frick ton of damage. He also has lost his shields, which is great. So we're going to do some damage to his drone control. Take out that combat drone if possible. And the mini beam, I can not... I can hit four rooms. Perfect. Let's go ahead and hit his shields as well and try to prevent him from charging back up. Get his weapons down. He does still have a beam weapon. That sucks, which means he probably is going to be able to hurt me pretty badly. Um, How did I get that four... Whatever, we're just going to do this. Okay, beam weapon hits the cloak. We've taken damage in our doors. All in all, this is not the worst first fight we could have gotten. The ion uh, storm kind of worked to our advantage. We dodged most of the shots, but yeah, that's a little bit more damage than I think we needed to take. Let's go ahead and have everybody repair, get some extra repair experience. Uh, we do want to turn on the oxygen in the meantime, so we don't, you know, suffocate and die. Everybody go work on the doors. Ariel, are you my pilot? You might be my pilot. Oh, I don't know. Everyone just go to your original positions. It'll be fine. Oh, nope. Not the pilot. Sorry. Um, there's no shields, obviously, so we only have to have three crew members to kind of get ourselves a pilot, some weapon recharge, and some better engines for evasion chance, which is not too bad. Uh, but obviously, if we do want to get a shield system, I'm going to want to have a fourth crew member as quickly as possible. It would also be really nice to get um, an NG, if possible, so we can repair our systems faster without having to worry about that. All right, there is a Rebel Scout. He's trying to charge up his uh, engines and run away. He also is starting with a combat drone, because of course he is. What kind of drone is that again? That is... doesn't tell me. Is that a fire drone or is that a beam weapon drone? I think it's a beam weapon drone. We're going to go ahead and just cloak and not take the damage, if possible. 
And we're gonna have to take out that drone control and his weapons as quickly as we can. And there we go. It hits us anyway. Pew pew. Okay, got that. Beam and weapons are down. Drone is down. All right, that hurts. But again, could have been a lot worse. Could also have been a lot better. But let's not. Let's just take away that it could have been a lot worse. All right, let's take out those shields too. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about this anymore. Let's go ahead and take out his piloting system. Let's make sure his drone control system does not get repaired. We don't have to worry about that again. Though I do have my cloak back up for the next volley. So we take a little bit of damage once more. But all in all, we're sort of kind of okay. Eight scrap, on the other hand, is kind of abysmal. Not a great start. But it could have been worse. Let's get our med bay up and running. Boom. And jump to the next beacon. Only thing I really need to make sure of is I don't run into any... Um, any Asteroids, because that really would be bad. I'd love to hire a crew member, um, but I don't think it's worth a scrap at this point, so we're going to have to say no. I kind of need to save the scrap for other things. What is this? A ship? Okay, combat is fine with me. Um, we can work our way toward a distress beacon if we go down this way. Combat is dangerous, but if we're smart and we have our full faculties with us, maybe we're fine. You have a defensive drone, but it's not a missile drone, so I'm not really worried about it. He's going to fire at me any second now. Let's go ahead and dodge, or go ahead and turn on that cloak while we charge. Now, something I have heard is that the stealth ship actually does start with stealth weapons, which lets you shoot while stealthed, but it is not shown in your augmentations. It's innate to the ship. I've heard that. I've also heard conflicting reports that say that is a total freaking lie. So we're going to find out. Oh, it sure looks to me like we were able to fire. So yes, I'm going to go with we can do that. Let's go ahead and hit his weapons. Good, we started off some fires. That's excellent. All right, so he's going to have a hard time dealing with any of that. His beam weapon is down in the meantime as well. Let's go ahead and make sure his shields stay down. Thank you. He's trying to run away, is he? Uh, okay, he's getting his weapons back up. We're just going to go ahead and burn you to crisp. There we go. Piloting systems are back online. We get 16 scrap and a little bit of fuel. Okay, yeah, sure. That's not, not terrible. Uh, we got more distress beacons. Sometimes those are good and sometimes they're terrible. Um, we can shield a ship with mine. I don't have any shields, so we're just going to have to let them get smashed. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, another combat opportunity. Okay. Sure. What do you got? It is a Mantis pirate. And by Mantis, I mean it is engine, NG and rocks, but they are all on a Mantis ship. Looks to me like they're going to do a boarding party. I'm going to go ahead and start preemptively venting some stuff into space and send you down to the doors to try and lock them in a little bit. Now, there's only a couple of venting locations, so it's a little bit difficult to vent your ship in a advantageous manner. But if we can lock you here like so, at least you're going to take some damage. I'm going to go ahead and cloak now before his weapons have a chance to really charge up any further. Okay, and dual lasers fire now. And then try to take out his weapons before he is able... Well, can we get three rooms here? We might be able to. Get his weapons before he can fire off that missile, if at all possible, which we did. He did fire off a laser, but we're okay. Gonna keep letting this guy suffocate, and I'm not gonna worry about anything else for a moment. We're just gonna sit back and we're gonna wait. He fired off a missile anyway, because of course he did. The NG repair way too fast. But he missed once again, which is awesome. And he is very dead. Alright, rock. Rock, paper, scissors. Lack of oxygen beats rock. I guess. I don't know. Just let him suffocate. I don't feel like taking any damage. I mean, could we go and deal with him? Sure. But do we have to deal with him? No, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. All right, Elizabeth has been injured, I'm guessing from when we sh got uh, hit at our pilot station earlier. Let's go ahead and heal her up real quick before we move on. Like so. Now, upgrading our piloting system actually wouldn't be a bad idea because it does sometimes open up some additional uh, blue options in those random events. And blue options are usually better. But in this case, I think I'm going to save up the scrap. Uh, let's see. We can... Okay, there's a fire out of control. I'm going to dock and try to rescue the survivors. We took some damage. We got 10 scrap. Technically worth it, I think. How much does it cost to repair? Is it 2 or is it 3? If it's 3, it's not worth it. If it's 2, it is. Uh, we need to start heading up toward the exit. Whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. We actually... Yeah, we need to start working toward that exit ASAP. Um, the rebel ships are catching up to us pretty quickly. Send an away party to investigate an encrypted broadcast. All right. Uh, we have a secret Federation outpost. They are out of supplies, but eager to tell you of another secret base. They give us coordinates to a quest marker. Sometimes this is a trap, but we're going to try for it. Actually, there's the quest right there. Can we do the quest and the store? I don't think that we can. We're going to do the quest and see what it gives me. I don't remember. Might be something really good. Okay, cool. We got a shield overcharger drone. If we had shields, that could have been useful. 
but we do not. Can I make this work? I think we actually might be able to go to the store. Now, I don't think I have enough scrap to buy shields outright, but if I sell, let's say, the titanium casing, I think we would. So do you have that? You do have shields. Okay, so we're going to sell the titanium casing. Gets me up to 140 scrap, and then we're going to buy the shields, unless I want to buy something else here. Hmm. This is basically two rounds every 12 seconds for two power, which is strictly worse than the dual lasers. Halberd Beam is quite good, but we don't have the power for that. Hole Smasher Laser can be pretty nice, but I think we're going to have to go with the shields in this case. Um, anything else that I want to do right now? I don't... I guess the shield overcharger is okay. We don't have drone control is a thing. So we have to save up a lot of scrap in order to buy that, which I would, I would like, certainly. And if I do, I would need three power for the shield overcharger, but it does create some super shields, which can be very helpful. I think I might just hold on to it, and eventually we are going to try... Try to uh, get drone control for some extra shields. Now, what I need to work on next is some power. I need to get myself some power as quickly as we can to get these shields up and a running. We have jumped into the aftermath of what seems to be a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens, and you can see the remains of dying ships sparking and breaking apart. Hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation. Well, good news is we have advanced sensors, so we actually can scan the wreckage. We find a little bit of fuel, some missiles, and some scrap. All right, sure, why not? Possible ship detected, today. Eh? That's fine. I don't have any shields yet, but I can probably fix that. Um, they're trying to run away. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use my cloak right off the bat. We're going to take off a little bit of engine power and go ahead and get some shields up and running. I'm going to let my weapons charge. We have to take out his uh, engines as quickly as we can. Of course, my cloak is already gone. That didn't take long. Fire off the lasers. Okay, and hit all of this. Boom. He still has his missile system, which sucks, so he's going to hit me. Unless, you know what, we don't actually need the shields. I'm going to go ahead and get as much evasion as we can. It was not enough. Boo. All right. Um, fine. No, that's that's great. He's got a fire in his shield, so he's going to be wanting to deal with that. Let's see if we can take out his peeps and his engines. There we go. Burn those down. Did some good damage to his, um, to his engines, but he's still going to be charging up his engines. Fortunately, we were able to take that down. We only took one shot from the missiles. 18 scrap. All right. No, no, sure. That's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and repair a few systems, get some extra XP for our guys, get the cloak back up and running, get our doors up and are running. Um, we could upgrade some parts of the ship. I kind of want to upgrade the uh, piloting real quick. It's cheap, but those extra blue options sometimes do let you get a lot of extra goodies from random events. Sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. But for 20 scrap, honestly, I think I'm willing to roll those dice. All right, let's go ahead and get our stealth back up. So we have, uh, by default, 20% evasion with one bar of shields. This is almost like a normal ship now, but we have cloaking to start. So in a way, this is actually a pretty good first sector. It's just we've already lost half of our hull. Uh, buying some fuel for that little scrap actually is a pretty good discount, so I'm going to go ahead and buy a bunch. Six more. That doesn't leave me with much more. Let's go ahead and move on to the next sector. Mantis controlled or civilian? Um, I think we're going to go to the mantis controlled sector and try to get some extra fights. If I can burn these guys down quickly, we are going to be in pretty good shape. If. That's a big if. Let's go to the stress beacon and see if there's anything to do. We have... Ah, mining colony. Yeah, I'm going to have to ignore that. If we had a rock crew member or something like that, or an NG, that would have been fine, but um, the odds of losing a crew member are pretty darn high from that event, and obviously I cannot afford to lose a crew member. The distress signal is coming from a small space station. Uh, they cannot approach it. We're going to have to try to help them. Use our cloaking to disable the system. Absolutely. We get some missile parts, drone parts, and we get 14 more scrap. All right, sure, why not? What's this? A nearby sun. No, thank you. Let's go ahead and look for some extra combat. Now, I could pull off power from the oxygen to get a little bit more evasion chance, and that usually is worthwhile. Let's go ahead and cloak them immediately. Uh, buys me a tiny bit of time. I'm going to go ahead and start preemptively venting a little bit of these rooms, because we know that the Mantis are going to try to board me. I don't know where they're going to pop up, but I know that I don't like it no matter what, so let's not worry about it. There they are. They're in the oxygen system. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and target... Let's see. You have a beam weapon. 
You know what? Believe it or not, your beam weapon is actually useless because we have some shields. So that's fine. We're just going to hit you here. Take out the shields. Uh, actually, I'd like to hit a few different rooms if possible. Let's try hitting um, his oxygen. Let's just try to distract him as much as possible. Uh, you need to run while we continue venting our piloting system. Yeah, see, he can't do a thing to me right now, so we're actually in pretty good shape. Now we're going to try to take out your shields, do as much damage to these rooms as possible. I don't think we lost anything in this so far. Let's go ahead and let the oxygen revent into our system. Uh, we'll just hit you here, I guess. Perfect. That was the best possible fight we could have hoped for. 22 more scrap. Love it. Um, Elizabeth, you got injured. I'm going to go ahead and have you pull back real quick to the med bay. I don't have enough power. Fix that real quick. And you're good to go. All right. I just realized we have an all-female crew. Elizabeth, Beth, and Ariel. Elizabeth and Beth must get confused all the time. It must be very frustrating for them. Uh, let's see. To get to the exit, I can go kind of the long route down over here, I guess. So let's go to the distress beacon first. See if we can scrounge up a little bit of extra scrap before we go to the store. Uh, yeah, we're going to aid the civilian ship. There is another one of these guys. Now, they do have a weapon that can pierce through my shields. Also, they are, once again, going to be boarding me. So let's go ahead and start venting out some of these rooms. They're already pretty low on oxygen, so that should be pretty quick. He's going to land right there in my cloaking. That is completely fine. Let's go ahead and do our own cloak. I should have cloaked before he teleported across, but whatever. Um, we're just going to hit you other weapons, I guess. And then we're going to hit you along here. Take out your piloting med bay and your weapons. There we go. Set that on fire. Love it. Let's go ahead and start draining these guys. He's going to take out my doors. Not that I had very good doors to begin with, so he's going to move around kind of as much as he wants. Uh, I'm going to need some help taking you out, so let's go ahead and pull you over. And he ran away. Perfect. Okay, everyone go back to your positions. We are going to hit you in the weapons room. And then we're going to hit you... If we can get four rooms at once. There we go. We can do some extra damage that way. Eh, weren't completely able to knock out his weapons, but at least he's not going to be teleporting across anytime soon. One good shot from the dual lasers, and he is gone. Perfect. Uh, we're going to contact the civilians. They give us a firebomb for free. Okay. Sure. Uh, I mean, a free weapon is nice. Now, one thing I just realized that's going to suck is um, with my doors down, that is as far away as it can possibly be, and we are going to have a heck of a time actually repairing these doors. All right, guys, run. Hold your breath. Hold it. Hold it. Don't die on me, man. Don't freaking die on me. Repair it quickly, 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 quickly. Run. Okay, oxygen should start generating again. Close all the doors. All right. Didn't lose anything. That's good. Let's go back to the med bay. Uh, Elizabeth, you need to heal as well. Let's see. Ariel's actually already over halfway there toward getting a level in weapons, which is awesome. Um, we do need to get another crew member to have somebody working on shields, if at all possible. That would be quite nice for us. It actually might be worth pulling one of our crew members away from engines. And instead, since she's got no engine experience because we have not dodged a single shot, let's have her go and work on the shields instead. We'll have the shields recharge a tiny little bit faster. Like so. And let's move to the next jump. Do we want to go to the store? Maybe. Let's see. There's a pulsar and a nearby sun. So no matter what, if we want to go to the exit down this route, we're going to have to deal with some sort of an environmental hazard. Eek, okay, I don't like that, but what can you do? Uh, there's a mantis who wants to sell me stuff. Let's see, drone recovery arm, meh. Emergency respirators, meh. Already have the long-range scanners, so no. Crew teleporter, clone bay, mind control. Mind control is certainly nice. Gives me some pretty nice options. If I had more crew, I would consider going for the crew teleporter. We could buy some more crew. Nobody has any particular skill, so maybe buying a mantis? I think we're going to buy the Mind Control, which is a little early and we don't have the power for it yet. But it gives me some options to, one, protect myself from Mind Control, and two, really screw with my opponents. It's also pretty good against the final boss, even if you only get one level of it. So it's a bit of a risky buy right now, but I think it might be worth it in the end. We're just going to go for it. Let You know what? Just freaking risk. Sometimes you got you got to take risks. All right, you got a shocking number of drones. You've also got a single weapon that can't actually do any damage to me, so uh, I feel absolutely no threat from you at all. Uh, except for when there's an ion pulse, maybe. Uh, let's see. We're going to take out... 
Let's just go ahead and take out your weapons, and then we're going to do damage to a few different rooms, if at all possible. Kind of like... that. Ah, wait. Can we possibly get four rooms? Done it before. Ah, whatever. Just do three. Why did I fire it that soon? Gosh dang it. I do that sometimes. I just forget. All right. You got to fire the dual lasers first. Whatever. His weapons are down, so I'm not worried about it. Um, still can't do anything to me. He's got no shield. Just burn him. There we go. Shields are probably going to get taken down again. Whoosh. My shields go down, but my weapons don't go down, which means we're completely fine. And burn him. I missed a room. Gosh dang it. Should have paid attention to that. I don't like making mistakes early on because it just kind of delegitimizes myself and makes people not want to watch the series anymore. All right. He's dead. 26 more scrap, 3 fuel. Not bad. Could be better, but could be a heck of a lot worse. Another store, huh? Um, I guess we could do that. I really would rather not deal with a nearby sun, so this is the safer route. We could buy some hull repair, I suppose. Um, backup battery, clone bay, drone control, meh. Do I think I'm ever going to use firebomb? Truth be told, probably not. I'm going to go ahead and sell it for the 25 extra scrap. Do I want to then buy a new crew member right now? Yeah... I do, actually. I mean, repairing is good, but I kind of would like to get a rock. Because an extra crew member like a rock might give me some extra blue options. Also, somebody who is able to deal with fires more effectively than my current crew members. So we're going to try for that. I know that I really need to be getting some more power bars. Like, a lot more power bars. But that's not too bad for our first couple of sectors. Uh, this is also close to nearby sun. So no matter what, we're going to have to deal with a solar flare. Great! Good thing we got a rock crew member, huh? Huh? All right, Mantis ventured a little close, huh? Let's go ahead and uh, vent stuff out into space just to try and preempt any of the fire uh, if we can. So we'll deal with these rooms with our rock. And these guys will deal... Oh, wait. Nope, nope. Should not vent off uh, the weapons room. That is obviously stupid. All right, we're fine. Let's go ahead and cloak so he doesn't get to charge up any of his weapons. Buy me a bit of time from my first volley. Try to knock out those weapons. Cloak does not last for very long, does it? No, sir, it does not. Uh, we can hit three rooms, so we will. Burn his shields. Got a little bit of damage out there. He's not going to be able to do any damage to me like that. So that's fine. We could always switch to evasion chance, take off power from our oxygen and stuff if we need to, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and do some damage here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take out, let's say, some oxygen and weapons. And he's dead. Never mind. We're fine. All right. We're going to get a solar flare. Nothing to do about that. 25 more uh, scrap is okay. The fire is immediately going to get put out. That was perfect. Could not possibly have gone any better. Let's go ahead and close the doors. We'll let our oxygen start recharging. Uh, there's another ship over here. We've got some time. So I think we're going to go ahead and take the risk. Let's see who we can kill. It is a rebel ship who says it's nothing personal. Well, he's polite, but he does have to die. He has a beam weapon. Not a fan of beam weapons. Cloak. He doesn't get to charge his weapons while we are cloaked, but we still get to fire and charge ours. So the initiative kind of goes to me when you do things like that. Let's take out his shields like so. Then we're going to try to take out his weapons. Okay, he's still got that uh, laser off, but he can't do anything. His beam weapon barely did not get to fire in time. Excellent. Uh, there's a fire in his shields. That's actually excellent. Let's go ahead and try taking that down some more. And we'll try killing off any of his crew members. He wants to surrender. I do not accept surrender from you. What are you talking about? Okay, his crew members actually could freaking die if we're lucky. Mm, I think he might be able to put out the fire. Let's just sit here and wait for a second. He's trying to reach uh, regenerate, but if the fires get out of control... I mean, he can't do any damage to me right now, and he actually they actually might kill all of his crew members, which means I get extra scrap from a crew dying. He also doesn't have a med bay, so technically all we have to do right now is just sit back and watch them barbecue. Which sounds awful. Am aware... But it's also hilariously true. Um, that said, he just got to fire off a shot, which I now I'm kind of regretting this. It's also not going through the doors very well. All right, screw it. Kill him. Kill him. Shouldn't have allowed myself to take any damage. We didn't take much, but shouldn't have allowed any. One fuel, 26 scrap. All right. Buy a couple of power bars. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on a bit more to our engines. So we're back up to 30% evasion with one shield. We have cloak, we have mind control, and two pretty decent weapons. Let's head to the exit of sector one, or sector two, sorry. 
Uh, besides the fact that we've taken a lot of damage, I actually feel like we're in a pretty good spot from the beginning here. Let's see, there's more wreckage, and we can use the improved scanners. Let's take a look, we get 13 more scrap. All right. Um, it'll cost me something like 50 scrap to get another bar of shields, which is probably our first priority getting into the next sector. So we'll worry about that. Then maybe I'll worry about getting some upgrades for our cloaks. We have more time to charge our weapons. If we get to the next level of cloaking, actually, 10 seconds means that I guarantee that I get a full volley off by the time we are done with our first round of cloaking. Which is actually pretty helpful. So we actually may end up prioritizing that depending on how much scrap we get in our next sector. Uh, where are we going to go? The Abandoned or the Mantis Homeworlds? Let's go to the Mantis Homeworlds because they sound like fun. And then I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed and you're looking forward to this run with a stealth cruiser. Aside from taking some damage, I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. Not a bad start at all. I'm hoping that I can capitalize on this and make a successful run. Be sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy. Leave a comment, of course, with your suggestions. Hit that subscribe button and notify bell. And I will see you guys next time.